For the past seven years, I've been working professionally as a software developer. If you watch movies, you can see programmers in the background with their insane setups. Think six monitors, glowing green lights, Jarvis AI systems, and a whole host of other incredible things. My own setups, however, let's just say they've been less than ideal. In fact, my current setup is the best I've ever had so far. That's why today I'm taking it to the next level and building my dream programming setup. I'm talking all the bells and whistles I need to be an awesome developer. After all, what's a programmer without the proper setup? Just kidding, I won't go that far. I'm confident I'll be able to make the perfect setup for me and take my programming to the next level. Of course, you don't need a perfect setup to be a great programmer, but in my case, I want something more minimal and dedicated for my productivity. Okay, let's talk about my previous setups and what I find worked for me and what didn't work for me. In May of 2016, my very first setup was a MacBook Air 2013 with a monitor attached to it. This was on top of this old desk that was sold secondhand to me at my college. You know those heavier than life corporate looking desks? Yeah, it was one of those. Here's why I liked. The dual monitor system was key to my productivity. And the desk was actually nice in size and had lots of space to put things, like two drinks apparently. And that's about it. Now, here's what I disliked. I didn't like how one of the monitors was my laptop itself, so I would want an external keyboard and mouse. I also didn't like the desk itself. It was extremely heavy and looked like it was from the 90s, which to be honest, it probably was. My next iteration brought the keyboard and mouse in, but looked extremely messy with the cable management. Also, it was a bit hard to use the monitor on my laptop when I was using it as just specifically a monitor. Now, if you can believe it, I've basically used an iteration of this setup all the way until basically the beginning of this year. Now, I switched between two 1080p BenQ monitors with a MacBook Pro 2022, MX keys, with the MX Master 3. I have been using vertical monitors for one of these displays, but honestly not a fan. I just kind of left it like this because it looks kind of epic on videos. I also use this IKEA table with legs, which functions pretty well. At home, I have a crappy Walmart table that I got for like 40 bucks, so can I really complain? I use a Keychron keyboard, which is really nice, and use an ultra-wide monitor. So if I take all of that and put it into one, here's my ideal setup a large desk that is also light, a mouse and keyboard setup, an ultra wide monitor, desk accessories, being able to stand up, and that's about it. First, let's talk about desks. Standing up is essential for me because I sit for like eight hours a day. I wanted to go with a stand up desk that was really big and could hold many items if needed. Bureautic reached out to me and offered me a free desk in exchange for a review of their product. Bureautic and I are both Canadian, so I thought it was a great idea. Once the box arrived, it came in huge boxes. I had to get Lee and Jason to help bring it upstairs. After that, we assembled. This part was really easy. I've built IKEA furniture in the past, so it was pretty straightforward. The cable management aspect of it is neat as it provided a desk with a hole in it to feed my cables through and came with some stickers and cables to manage the cables so that they aren't dangling around. One thing that would be nice is maybe a specific place we could have put the power outlet, but it's real wood so Jason was able to put it underneath the desk anyway. I'm 6 foot 1 for reference so it's able to go pretty high for my liking or real low if you want to code sitting on the floor or something. After assembly of the final product, it looks pretty incredible. I'm a big fan of the real wood look to it and it's really massive. Thanks to Bureautic for sending this desk. If you're interested in grabbing one for yourself, click the link in the description below and use code LEWIS50 for $50 off. They also have a Boxing Day sale you can use to get some really good savings as well. You gotta love Canadians. Now, I like the dual monitor setup, but I think the ultra wide is much better. I like the idea of having two monitors for multitasking, but in the end, I think having just one good monitor is best for focusing with better resolution. After doing a bit of research, I decided to grab the Hawaii MateView 34 inch curved monitor. This was also pretty huge and I knew I wouldn't be able to unbox it alone. So I asked Sean to help me out as I was worried I was going to break it if I tried to take it out on my own. Plus it was nice to have an extra pair of hands to set it up. 
What's hilarious is this still looks so small on this big desk, but when you're sitting down, the curve helps a lot and makes it feel like two monitors. Now, this monitor has a soundbar at the bottom, which is also pretty cool. The speaker quality is all right. It's not the best, but good enough to play videos or listen to music lightly in the background. I usually just use my dedicated headphones anyway. Okay, let's talk about keyboards. The room I'm in, I will be alone 90% of the time, so I don't have to use something that's very quiet. I love the MX Keys by Logitech, but I do miss the clickety-clack of the mechanical keyboard, so I ended up getting the Keychron Q2 60% version. This is using the blue switches. Something I assumed is that this would be a Bluetooth keyboard, but isn't, so it does require a wired connection. So that's my bad. Build quality is incredible. It's really heavy since the base is metallic. Something I overlooked as well is the tilde key is missing. Coding in TypeScript, the tilde key is used a lot as the way you use template literals. You can do this with the function key and escape, but it did throw me off at first. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's just hear the keyboard ASMR. For my mouse, I have decided to go with the Logitech MX Master 3. It's simply the perfect mouse for me, and I'm certain that I won't be able to find anything better. What I like the most about it is the ability to perform gestures with the thumb area. It's incredibly useful for managing windows and scrolling through different programs. I'm also trying to use the mouse less, so this is an ideal choice. It has all the features I need without me needing to upgrade, so the MX Master 3 is a great mouse, and I'm really glad I chose it. Okay, accessories for my computer. First is this BenQ light that glows the desk so that if it was dark, you can still see your desk. It's actually pretty neat. It also comes with this little dial too, which makes you feel like a super hacker when you turn it on. One thing is that I wish it had a few LED lights with color in it, which would make it look even more impressive. Imagine if I can go super hacker mode on this thing and show off my skills. Next up is this Amazon microphone that I got for like 40 bucks. Now, is it the best microphone in the world? No, but it honestly does the job surprisingly well. In my old videos, I used this mic all the time and people didn't complain about it. The sound quality was clear enough that it was suitable for recording, making it a nice accessory to have. And finally, I use this at my desk downstairs and technically speaking, it's a desk accessory, but it's a metal laptop holder for when I want my laptop to take up less room so that I can maximize the space I have. Speaking of which, a USB hub that I just got from Amazon. For all those Mac users, I only have four USB-C ports. In this scenario here, I can just plug this in to hold all the things that still require the old USB. And last but not least, I'm planning to start live streaming soon, so I decided to get the Logitech webcam with this ultra-wide camera. While this has been a great decision, I have been facing one issue. It is challenging to find a way to position the light and the camera together. I've been alternating between the two, but this is far from the ideal situation. I've been looking into various options to get around this issue, such as getting a light with a flexible arm or finding a way to mount the light onto the camera itself. I'm confident that with a bit of creative thinking and some research, I can find a solution that works for me and enables to stream with the best possible lighting and camera setup, but, but for now, let's just move on. Now, if you spend eight plus hours a day in one area like me, I have a video on that by the way, you might as well make it nice and add some jazz. So first things first, I have my desk mat, monitor stand, and headphone holder that I got from Grovemade from my last setup. I used to have a mouse pad and I'll never go back now that I have this. I have to bring some of my programming buddies along for the ride too. My rubber ducky, which I used to debug my code, he has lost a trauma. My stack overflow copy and paste keyboard, which by the way, actually works. Now that I'm using a wired keyboard, it honestly might be cool to switch back and forth. I also have this cause figure that I spent an embarrassingly large amount of money on. I bought it as a gift to myself with a present for 100k subscribers, which, speaking of, my YouTube plaque. I always dreamed of having one of these when I first saw this as a kid, and thanks to all of you, my dreams have come true. It really means the world to me, and it makes all of this worth it. All right, let's make this desk a little bit cooler. I bought these LED strips from Amazon to put under my desk to give a cool vibe to it. So I spent a little bit of time installing it, which was pretty easy, and it comes out pretty cool. Okay, so I am a content creator, so I want to make this looking as cool as possible for my videos. So I grabbed this fake plant that I had downstairs and ordered a poster to hang up. 
Oh, and you may have noticed that this entire wall is now painted gray instead of white. I think this will add a really nice backdrop for my videos instead of what I was doing before. Now, when I put everything back to where I want it to be, it all looks fantastic. Here's the final montage. Thanks for watching my video. This one took a long time to make, so I hope you enjoy it and got some inspiration for what your programming desk can look like. I've listed everything that I use in the description below in case any of it interested you. What do you want to have on your desk? Peace out, coders.